Hello, now let's continue our study of uh, simple version Tai Chi, 24 movements. Okay, now we have done uh, two, two sessions, one, two, these three and four, all together four sessions uh, for you to study uh, simple from Tai Chi uh, analytically. And uh, you can use it as a reference anytime for a simple uh, a single unit. And then with this one, um, explanations, you also review those uh, videotapes, the whole form and applications to get all uh, the detail of Tai Chi in self defense, in fitness training, and uh, in performing arts. Okay, myself, uh, I captured the gold medal in 1993 in Vermont, the International Kung Fu event. Um, there was many events, and I was help, helping judging the Chinese grappling part, and later on, I saw a Tai Chi event still going on, so I entered, and luckily, I won the whole event. So my best record is 1993, International Kung Fu event, uh, gold medal for Tai Chi. And in my past, uh, teaching record, this one in Brazil, Samboro. I was invited to teach entire uh, military police college in Samboro area, and that's about 1,500 people, including the president and generals, coaches, all martial arts coaches and the cadets. And that they were looking for Tai Chi theories and uh, uh, method in helping their exercise uh, for self-defense and fitness. So that's my my biggest uh, event. Then we've been doing a, a collegiate Tai Chi Federation promotion of uh, uh, therapy Tai Chi, including many uh, professors, experts in Tai Chi for healing, like uh, from uh, Stanford University, the founder of Stanford Medical School Tai Chi program, uh, Dr. Su Dong Li, and uh, uh, the William Dale from UC Berkeley and uh, Jason Cho from UCLA, they all Tai Chi coordinator uh, for the program, and myself have uh, been teaching in different universities. So, uh, this simple version of Tai Chi will be a great foundation for you to continue uh, exploring the Tai Chi for the benefits you want to get in your daily activity. Now, let's continue our session three and session four for. Uh, this simple for the Tai Chi, okay? <clears throat> uh, as we did, did last time, from beginning to about half, about uh, over uh, one third, close to half, we stop in the second two. Let me repeat that. In the beginning, you face a direction, let's say 12 o'clock, and you start breathing with a movement. When you are up here, you are neutral, but then you start bending your knee, sinking down, and exhale. And make sure your posture is straight. And then you start dividing weight. One, two, okay? They, they, they kind of uh, in turns transfer the weight. So this one, two, then one, and then spread, shoulder width apart, rotate your knee, that 50, 50. If you keep on going, then you will be shift to two, the, the left side. And then you come back to center, in zero, okay? So, in the beginning, you go to the neutral, and then you start to, you know, uh, activate your breathing, the chi, with movement. Breathe in, breathe out, extend to your fingertip, and then open. Breathe in, breathe out, and rotate your arm. You go down, stretch. Slam it right, and then close, and then the other side, two, that is higher posture, and three, is parting while hold this main, and then close, step back, cast hands, white crown spread wing, then embrace moon, now sink, rush knee, twist head one, push forward, close your arm, and head back, two, and three. 
I put your hand and then close up, finish starting up, turn the wheel. Now, toe, heel, arm over, one, step back, repose monkey, two, step back, repose monkey, and three, four. And now, enter in the core of Tai Chi. Voice in, voice tail. Roll up, roll it back. That's one side down. Then change it to right side. Step forward. One. Roll up, roll it back. Shoulder, elbow attack, forearm press. Open, push. Then rip up. Pull over to left and pull over to the right. And close your leg, close your hand, and then split, stretch, stretch, single one. Then wave your hand across, wave to your right and center, and close your leg. One step, two step, three steps. Now go back to single one. That's it for. One third at least, and then go into the half block, high pedal holes. Look up there, high pedal holes, close your leg, close your hand, and then spray hand, kick, and then knee up, then twist up, and then turn, close your leg, open, kick, and touch down, stretch, turn. This is called Golden Alley, snake creeping down. Golden rooster sitting on leg. This is a knee, close elbow, and touch the other side. Stretch, turn, hit, and then open, close this. Okay. So, so far, I have reviewed for you session one, session two, class into session three. Now, session one and session two, you can re review by watching the previous uh, video tapes. Now, the session three is after you do single whip and then start block and strike. That's a look up that is called high pedal hose. Feet, the palms are parallel. And never lock your two arms. Bend a little bit, relax. Palm. And then close your leg, close your hand, look to your palm, and raise up, open, block, and then kick. Okay, kick. Then knee up, then strike. So there's balance issue. You have to slowly here, one, two, three, four, and five, and then six and then rock back turn here open kick so this portion is a very challenging for your balance combination and you i have to follow uh your hand or where you kick to make your force you know deliver to the right place you know in alignment so this is a little bit like a you climb the mountain, that's a peak. You, you overcome this one, the rest of it will start smooth, okay? So this is a hard one. Balance and the angles and the eye hand coordination. So review this one from single hook here, and then block, strike, look there, and close, two arm, open, kick, and then knee up. Length, strike. That's called, it's called two fists through ears, and then rock, turn, here. Block, kick. This is a middle mid session. This is a high, this is a middle. Block and kick, and then touch, start, sinking down, turn, and it's called snake creeping down. So, among all the movement, this is the most demanding for your flexibility. Because it was supposed to what? 
dispose of, stretch your leg as far as you can, and then gliding your hand, going down, going up. That's why it's called what snake coming down. And this movement, you better have a lot of strength on your legs. Also, alignment. What alignment means? When you kick, okay, you touch down, this line should be maintained, maintain this line, and here. So you don't want to move on back and forth. You want to maintain in a one straight line, so the force, this hand change into this to be aligned with the front hand, this way. And after that, you open your toe, pull your leg up, and then you do go to the step, this way. And then you continue, touch, turn, look here, look here. Stretch, turn, and go. And then open, here, up. Okay? So this is a, uh, almost to the end. And the key portion is grass bus tail. How do you change from one side to the other side? Uh, before you go to the grass bean bus tail, uh, basically, it's easy movement. You just do we pause monkey for time, and then you initiate from what left side, and you become a wall off, rolling back. Ah, look at that. Look here, and then shoulder attack. Oh, look at hand, and then turn your waist. This is called press forward. Use a forearm parallel to the chest. Rotate your forearm, and then you back up. Block and push move. That's one side. Here's the left side. Okay, so wall off. This hand is walling off. Then so pulling down the other hand will do the cover. And then you are starting from repose monkey. You need to roll down your left hand first and turn your angle and then wall off and rolling back. Repeat, wall off, rolling back, wall off, rolling back. You see my hand? You see my hand? All off, rolling back. All off, rolling back. So, the two hands, just like it. each hand is doing a figure eight, Arabian number figure eight, yeah? And they work together like this, okay? Like this, so, so this, right side, yeah? Look, they always what? Come on each other and the other side? That is called what? Grace being both tail. So your hand has to be so flexible, just as if you can catch catch a bird. So let's say catch a mosquito. Yeah, you cannot catch this one. Yeah. So when you initiate this one, you need to keep your hand close together and and close to your uh, distance. So they can cover each other all the time. The bird in your hand can get out because you are like a net. Alright? So once again. From here, last the repose monkey, you load down this hand, turn, and then wall off. Load it back, and pull down, shoulder attack, elbow attack, and then turn, forearm press, and then block, push through. Okay, from here, you're gonna go to the right side, so what do you do? Well, you shoot your way back, you push arm, hit, look at that, elbow, and then hit and palm, pull together, and then all of right side, roll it back. Yes, shoulder, elbow, and the forearm, block, push, and then you conclude. Move over to left, block to right, close, and then initiate the other side, stretch, strike. And then from here, you enter another bird, you know, hurdle. That is from bottom stance. How do you get to horse stance? Remember, you gotta shoot your way back and turn your toe to be parallel, and the hand will follow the worship team to change to circling this. Because this one is strike four. Then you change into a circle, circle, circle. And then when you stop moving, that is what? Waving hand across 15 by before you. Yeah. Three times, then you go into another single hand and enter it at the horse. 
So when you are fighting by yourself, you can always practice broken pieces. Ah, this, this, and then this. All up, rolling back, and then all up, rolling back, and then shoulder, elbow, and then forearm, block, push, and then step the other side. All up, rolling back, shoulder, elbow, forearm, block, push, and right back, here, here, yeah, and single. So you can see, once you know each movement, okay, yeah, correctly, then it's easy to put them into branches. So each unit consists of this movement will become smooth. If you are, uh, are not certain about one movement, and then when you put together, it's gonna break, you know, uh, screw up the whole thing. So, don't hesitate. Just choose any movement you want to do by yourself. Repeat, repeat, perfect them, and then you put together. Okay, now one more time, I want to continue after the kicks to snake going down. That is very challenging because the height changes balance. Okay, so after you do uh, last repose monkey today, session three, pull off left side. Right side. Leg up. Big circle. Big circle. Shift the weight. And close hand, close leg. Then initiate the other side. Strike. Okay. Now wave down. Wave up. Turn your toe. Face the front. Step. Two, watch my hand, turn the wrist right in front of my nose, turn. And the last time, three times, raise, initiate another single. Okay, and then turn, block, strike, together. Kick, knee up, then fist strike up. Shoot away first, pull leg together, open, and kick. Then touch down, initiate, two up, turn, here, one, open, close, the other side, go to the third, touch, turn, stretch, turn, here, open, here, and up, okay. Single, uh, snake sings, uh, screaming down is difficult in what? Not just uh, spreading your leg, but also move your center from one leg to the other leg. You need a maintain a alignment. In other words, I am going to push the lift. I need to keep my whole body shift the weight along center line. So from here, center line. And then I go here, my head will come back here, not instead of staying here, you go like this, yeah. So from here to here, that's one exercise you need to learn. Raise and here, and then raise and here, okay. Here, one, here, two. So one, you notice my shoulder, raise elbow, shoulder, rotate, here. You want to make this hand and this hand one, center line. You don't want to go like this, or this, or this. The center line, nose line. And then raise your hand, and this side. Raise your hand, and this side. Watch my head. My head will be my, my power go wherever I want to attack. <laughs> so this is a little bit well, complicated, okay? Uh, now, let's try to get, after you do high pen horse, which is easy, you can press this movement by yourself, close, kick, land, block, high bend horse, close, kick, land, one, two, close, kick, land, one, two, close, kick.
not how you can break this movement into small pieces. And then you prefer that it will be easier. Otherwise you feel a lot of pressure. Oh, how can I get anything one time? Okay, now let's finish this session three by connecting this movement, okay, slowly. Ready? The first monkey here, plant the video. Remember, this hand is always by this elbow. This high to your nose, this one, but your chest. If somebody kick you, this your knee. That's, that's why you are doing this. Yeah, but take yourself. Okay, now, here goes. One, left side, here. Oh, change. Here, elbow, attack, close, right side. One, two, three, four, five, block, six. And then, red, red, together, and then initiate. The other side, straight, and wave and count, wave count, wave count, here, one step, two, three, and then another one, single hip. Here, and now, into this. Kick, knee up, look down. Hand, look up, straight up. Then rock, turn, pull, block, kick, and touch. Here, snake. One, open your toe, pull together, raise your knee, touch down, here, stretch, turn, here, three, open, close, second, go to rooster. Okay, now, look at these broken pieces I explained to you and practice with it. Then go back to review the four whole form in previous DVDs, okay, video games. Then you get a better picture. Okay, now let's take a break. This is the end of session three.